Hey, welcome back to Big Bad Bard. Plays into the Gungeon. We're gonna take the bullet out this time. Try him out in this new strange world that we've... I guess not just just now found ourselves in. Uh, yeah, let's slow things back down a little bit. Um, I wanted to turn that off from uh, from the last run. Turbo mode from Tonic the Sledge Dog. He, it was it was a little too fast for me, a little too fast. I uh, I mean I might have like the the ears, but I'm definitely not Tails. Uh, I'm not I'm not. Uh, what's his name? Miles Tails Prower? Prowler? Pro I don't remember his last name. I remember his first name is Miles. Which, uh, since it's all you know like wordplay, they'd probably just name him like Smiles. That'd be my guess. Smiles the nine tailed. Oh, come on. Locks. Um, like fish. Okay, so. I'm so glad that the dude stuck in the barrel is already dead. <laughs> or that might. That might be an issue since I can't shoot. <laughs> That would definitely be a problem. I'm not looking forward to whatever is going to happen with this dynamite guy when I decide I need to run up and smack him in the face. I'm hoping I can kind of just like hit him and dodge roll back, yeah, and avoid any more damage. Okay, this is going fine. Um, I don't know what that thing is in the middle of the room. What are you? I'll get you in a second, don't you worry. What is this? Nothing. Okay, I just walked over it. Apparently, just dirt. Okay. This is fine. These dudes, uh, luckily they, they only shoot the one wave of bullets. So it's a pretty easy shot to destroy with my sword. Um, I am gonna take this. Yeah, I needed a backup gun. Unfortunately, it's the moon scraper, so really not like the best thing for me here. Some health would be cool. I would take that health. I'm thinking, uh, no on the oubliette. Die. All right. <clears throat> I, you know, I really can take advantage more of the dodge roll damage that the bullet has. Um, I really could, especially on, like, the last enemy of a room, where it's very unlikely that I will take damage for foolishness. There we go. Here's the shop. What you got for me, buddy? A half heart? Meh. The key I'm a little more excited by? Um... Half heart for 20, key for 25. I can get both if I need to. Oh, we've got something up here. Ooh, curse you. Ooh, spicy -la. Hmm. What's up, spicy -la? That's real tempting. It seems very dangerous uh, starting on the first floor to start becoming addicted to spice. But at the same time, spice is so good. It's so good for you. He dead. He dead. He dead. All right. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Just a little. I don't know. A little fun. Heavy bullets is pretty awesome. Gotta admit, I like it. I don't think that's secret room. Are you secret rooms? No. No secret room. Um, it might be off the shop. There's a couple of possibilities there. Could be below it, could be over here to the right. Uh, let's check this room real quick. I'm not even sure what would be over there. I mean, it would have to dead end somewhere, I'm sure. There, it can't loop back around anywhere. I, I would have to guess it's just one dead room. I can't think of what other secret rooms, or, or not secret rooms, but like special non-rooms like this. <laughs> 
you know, special merchants or just the regular shop item rooms. Um, the crest room on the second floor, stuff like that. Shrines, even gun munchers, blah blah blah. Um, I do have one extra blank, so I'm gonna use that in here, just hoping I could have found the secret room, but I couldn't. Dang. Alright, I do have money for a half heart, but unfortunately that's not really enough for what I need. So, hopefully uh, Moonscraper can take this dude out all by itself. Oh god, yeah. There's that hit. This is looking like trouble. Oh god. I should have just blanked. I really should have. Okay. Luckily, I only took about half the ammo for Moonscraper. Um, unfortunately, not a whole lot of health. Um, where would that secret room be? Like, could be here. It doesn't appear to be. Or I guess it's also possible that the moon scraper wouldn't find it. Um, could be like above here. I don't know, that'd be my next best guess is just... Popping a blank in Cursula's little lair. Nope. Okay. Let's grab her spice, though. Nom that up right away. Huntsman. I think I'm gonna... I'm real tempted to buy this just to get a little closer to full health. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I don't need keys for the next floor. I've already got two. I could have gone down to the oubliette, but meh. Pass on that. Thanks. Um, so far, nothing super special that we've come across. Nothing real out of the ordinary. That's kind of cool. Thanks for putting us right to the shop. Spice is 108? God damn, that's expensive. Alright. So maybe we'll come back for that. Oh, oh, that was just real, real bad on my part. So there goes that half heart that I just purchased. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I guess I'll try Blasphemy. Oh, I don't like this. I really wish I had full health. Just for the swords, uh, sword beam. Oh, how many times I have found myself playing Zelda, thinking that exact same thing. Okay, that's nice. We can get back up to full HP on Moonscraper, which is convenient. We're getting a little low there. Actually, is that even true? I... I know I used some for the boss, but not that much. Well, I mean, I used about half, but then... Did I get ammo back from the boss? I don't remember. Without dodge rolling. Shit. Alright. Let's do it. I can take damage, I just cannot dodge roll. Which means I need to kill those bullet sharks. Pronto. They gotta die. Okay. The bullet shark and then the other guy, like, for sure had to go. Hey, we got a nice little gun. Alright, some backup guns. Very helpful. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Heavy bullets. This is uh, one of those times where I'm like, oh my god, give me the Anne villain and remote bullets. And, uh, oh my goodness, it's just so strong. You can just fly it around. Okay, so apparently these guys take a couple more shots, and I should not just be so dingy with my ammo where I'm like, alright, let me shoot out two shots in a row, see if that kills, and then I'll shoot out two more shots. No, 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 just let it go. Be like Elsa in Frozen. Let it go. Alright, we'll open it. Okay, so, 
I'll admit, I cheated a little bit, <clears throat> and I looked up what this thing is. So, it's a clue for something that I can't do yet. Um, so basically, I'm going to jump to the shop real quick. This key that we will eventually buy uh, opens up. There was uh, like a trap door in the floor on the gunpowder mines. Third floor, third chamber, right? There's a, a door, or there's a room in there where there's like rats. I cheated, I looked it up, I'll admit. Um, so I was like, what the fuck is this item? Uh, but there's that room with the rats in it. We've seen it a couple times. There's a spot in that room that has a, tr a trap door that is just like covered in dirt. And I found that. I found the trap door. I have gone into the trap door. Inside the trap door, which you must open with a key. Um, inside that trap door, you will find a hallway. At the end of the hallway is a wall that you have to blank. At the end of that hallway is another wall you have to blank. And then at the end of that hallway is a door for you to use that key that's in the shop. Um, so then that takes you to another like little sub-level based on the rat. And what that note does is it's a hint to tell you which direction to go in the rat's maze. So the little piece of cheese down at the bottom, under where it says good luck chump RR, the little piece of cheese is pointing to a direction, so in this case the left. And if you get all of, hold on, all of the different directions, then it'll basically be a map. So where is that item in here? It should be near the bottom, I would guess. Although they did rearrange it a little bit. Here we go. So it looks like there's two more that I've yet to find. Um, so it looks like right now my directions are going to be down, up, right, left, and then something, something. So there's going to be a couple more runs before I could go down there, but I still need that key. And for that I need, like, a whole bunch of more runs. <laughs> oh, that's a uh, lodestone? No, frost ammo lit. Okay. It's not bad. Did I... I don't think I checked the walls in here for a secret room. No. Okay. I didn't... I didn't think there was, but that's alright. Okay. Um, so no more free... or, you know, basically free spice. I was kind, I'll admit, I was kind of hoping my passive item on this floor would be spice. And, oh well. We got an ammo lit. Those are generally pretty good. Um, the frost one is... It doesn't do damage or like bo uh, bonus damage like the fire one or the <clears throat> um oh god oh god uh i'm pretty sure i mean the fire one does damage because of the damage over time at the very least um oh my god why can i not think of what the other ones are that would do extra damage i, I know there's one that just straight up says extra damage Okay, that's the boss fight. Easy enough to figure that out. And here we go. Um, I guess, really, I'm not sure what else I'm looking for on... Ooh, ooh. On this floor. Um, I would guess there's some other special room besides what we've already found. We've already found both item rooms, the shop, and a gunsling king. So I would assume it's probably, uh... A shrine would be this other special room that's that I'm expecting to be on this floor. Um, oh, never mind. I'm an idiot. This is the old crest room? Yeah, okay, there's nothing else. I hadn't found the old crest room yet, and I knew there was another path going off somewhere, and it usually spawns off of an item room, the shop, a shrine, a special merchant, something like that. So that's where my confusion just came in. Uh, yes, please. Definitely, definitely the Stinger is going to be my weapon of choice here. Don't dive in? Okay, nice. Okay, almost there. Uh, not really. <laughs> like, I don't know. 60% of the way there. Oh, I hate this attack. 
especially when she's got some poison out on the field still. Just makes dodging a little trickier. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Look at all that money, though. Oh my goodness. So, do you just get extra money every time you beat a boss for the first time? On this one? Is that what's going on there? Because that's kind of what it looks like. Is, uh, what's going on there. Um, so not the secret room there. Not the secret room there. Did I already check here? I don't think so. Um, I would not expect it to be up. I would expect it to be over here. Yeah. Oh my goodness, health. Thank you. I'm not even going to risk jumping back over that gap. Because I know myself. I will fall in. I will take damage. Okay. Let's dump a little bit more money into that one. <clears throat> and head on down. Back up to full health, so Blasphemy is back on the table. Real happy about that. It was a little sketchy, but, hey, you know, it, it was just a little hard to to recover from that first floor damage that I took oh so foolishly. Yeah, this is so good. Heavy bullets with Blasphemy. That sword beam, like, takes forever to get through enemies. You get, usually get a couple of ticks off of it. <clears throat> a couple of ticks of damage. Okay. Um, that is quite the little floor hazard over there. Ooh, just like a big pool of fire and a big pool of poison. Yeesh. Do not want to get stuck in that. Alright, come on. Come on now. Come on now. <clears throat> you little jam boy. Uh, this room is uh, actually apparently not going to be as hard as I thought it might be. There's no way I'm going to be able to hit this dude from the other side, though. Not with the heavy bullets. I say no way. I do not like all of these bubbles. Get out of here with your bubble bullshit. Get out of here. Who's still up? There's this dude. And we got the sniper over here. Thinking he's all sorts of funny. Nice, more health. Just laying about. I quite like that. And one more slash on you. No grenades, very nice. That's the one thing I'm like always super unsure about when I'm running up on enemies to hit them with blasphemy is like, okay, is this thing gonna be a grenade and blow up in my face? The answer usually is, yeah, probably. Uh, let me check with an actual gun and not a sword gun. Okay, not a secret room. I am gonna wait on opening that chest I'm so glad they put these teleporters in, because there were some times where if you wanted to backtrack to a chest, like, good luck, you were going to be running for a second. There'd be, like, three or four rooms between you and the chest. Well, I guess between a teleporter and the chest. Alright, let's just take him out super quick. Get him down before he can reproduce. Got some ammo, huh? I'll take that for the stinger for sure. Oh, there's a cell. I need to find a key. There must be a key somewhere. I'm sure the game will just drop it for me. Uh, I'll admit, I hope it's not after the boss, like the boss drops it, because I know they, uh, they did that for like the first round of NPCs, where the boss could be the one that drops the key. Uh, there were also times where the key, w or the, um, the cell was like connected to the elevator room going down to the next floor. So it's like, shit, you had to beat the boss. If, uh... You know, if you're newer to the game, like, that can be really hard to do sometimes. Some of these bosses... Can be kind of tricky the first couple times you deal with them. I mean, they're... Some of them are still tricky... After you know all their patterns. It's just like, shit, it's hard to... You know, maneuver around this guy. Or some of the attacks are just really obnoxious to deal with. I mean, there are speedrunners that can beat this game in 15 minutes or so. And there are bosses they that they're like, oh my god, please don't give me Treadnought. Which, to me, I'm like, Treadnought's not that bad. I'm sure to a speedrunner, they've got a different set of criteria. Um, they've got, you know, like, health issues to worry about. I think he said, like, Mind Flayer was the, the easy boss on the speedrun that I was watching. 
And I'm like, really? Mind Flayer over Treadnought? That's interesting. Okay. Five hearts, one armor. Oh, you got this guy. Who are you? You seem to have more than enough hearts to get by. Enough perhaps to share. I'll reward you handsomely. Right. I remember this guy. No thanks. Uh, spice is very, very nice. Oh, I have another key. So I will go back here and open up this chest. Let me just make sure it's not a mimic. Okay, it's not a mimic. Monster blood. I love it. I love it. Give me that monster blood. How much is the spice? Like a hundred? No, 90. I was going to be like, it's like a hundred something, isn't it? Maybe that was just Curseula's price on the last floor. It was a hundred and... 108 or something? Way more than I was going to have, that's for sure. That sucks. <laughs> Lost my armor. Which I really only care about just to keep my health full. That's the... God, come on. Come on. You know that's not what I meant to do, game. You know that's not what I meant to do. Why would I try to teleport to where I was standing? Oh, that's bad. Oh, these guys got a new attack, huh? Oh, what? <laughs> it, like, he shot out a little, like, bola of bullets at me. That was unexpected. It's like a little flail bola. Crazy. Oh, I do have health just laying about, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take that. Thanks. Get back up to full. Really, I appreciate it. Okay, so this is the room with the rats, which means this is the room that has the trap door going down. So, if I had to guess, it's probably out here in the middle of the room. I don't know exactly how to uncover the trap door. It's, it's a tile on the floor that you have to walk over. So you might have to search for a second. I don't think you have to kill the rats, but if you do, then maybe we'll try that. Um, you, I think you can also use a blank to check it out, but I don't think you have to. I think it's just like a tile on the floor. And I'm, I wonder if uh, it's possible that this floor generation got kind of messed up and it's like actually in where the pit is because I'm not seeing it it's oh god damn it I fell in the hole all right whatever oh I did not mean to use stinger to check to see if that was a mimic that was definitely not my intention oh okay so am I crazy it shows the... Okay, so there's the trapdoor. You see it now. I don't know why it wouldn't show up when I was trying to look for it, but there it is. Let's pop this door open real quick. See what this person's all about. Dot, 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 dot. <clears throat> it's been quite some time since I've seen anyone down here. Well, thanks very much for letting me out of this dreary place. Once I get a little bit of my strength back, I should be able to help you out quite a bit. I'm sure I'll be seeing you soon. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm not much for big gatherings. I'll stay down here, but we'll see each other from time to time, I think. Okay, so this is another NPC that stays out of the breach. I don't know why I jumped there. I wanted to go to the shop, see what he's got. Right, keys. I'll take a key. And boss time. Which means stinger blasphemy time. All right, we got the Mind Flayer. All right. Get them, Bumblebees. Trying to just stay away from all of the... Oh, okay. Shot that bullet out, like, right at me. Had no time to dodge it. This is uh, speed strats that I learned. Except that, you know, he was, like, way better at it than I am, apparently. There we go. That's how you deal with that shit. Um, 
I'm just gonna back up and go with the stinger for a second. Ah! There we go. Okay, let's just blank that. Um, sucks that I'm not gonna get the master round, but that's alright. This fight's just about done. One more? Okay, one, one more. There we go. Okay, hopefully we, we get some health back. Okay, it looks like we get back up to full health off of that. That's very nice. Very, very good. Hot lead, too. Oh, shit! You a mimic! He's throwing his guns at me, too. So this is what I was talking about on that other run. Is uh, Sometimes item pe pedestals are... Uh, like, boss pedestals are mimics? What the fuck? That's crazy. Okay. Um... I guess I should probably learn to look out for that a little bit better. Anything else on this floor that we could do, potentially? Um, there's health back there that we don't really need. Oh, there is that new mechanic, though, I keep forgetting about, the save for later. You can just kind of hold up, like, pick up the health. I'm not sure entirely what it is, but, like, I don't understand the point of it. If it's... If it is what I think it is, which is, you can pick up the health and put it into the, like, there's a health bank, I don't really know what to call it, blood bank, um, that shows up, like, at the end of the floor in the elevator room, if you've picked up health on that floor, but I don't know if it carries over to the next floor if you do that, like, if you'll have it available at the end of the next floor for withdrawal. I am not really sure how that mechanic works. I just haven't... I don't know, I haven't been in that situation. Okay, so... Not a Mimic? Probably. Okay, not a Mimic. Probably. I'm gonna wait to open that one up just to see what the other chest is, because I only have the one key right now. Could be something better. Could be something I want more. Could be spice. And if it's more spice, yes, give me all the spice. That's only my second one, so I could still really just take a couple of them before suffering massive, massive bad effects. Negative side effects, if you will. The downsides. But... I could, like I said, I could still take a couple more spice. Uh, I think it's gonna start taking my health away pretty soon. <laughs> um, I never remember if it's number three or four or five that does that. I know one and two are totally safe. Well, almost totally safe. I think they both just like add a little bit of curse like the first one adds like half of a level of curse and then the second one adds a full level of curse so I should be at like 1.5 should be unless I forgot about something which is entirely possible um we've got Cursula again cursed bullets seems like it'd be really good I'm gonna pick it up I'm gonna take it. They sold me. She sold me cursey bullets. Oh, thank god. I didn't fall down the hole there. Alright, let's jack this boy open. Honeycomb, huh? So, now we get hit and we shoot out bees along with our poison. I like that. Oh, the damage. That sword slash. See, these dudes are jammed though. They know my story. I'm basically a jammed bullet, too. With as much curse as I have. Oh, more spice. Give me all the spice. Can't afford it. Not even close. Like a hundred gold off. Alright, he's down. He's down. one shot dudes on the hollow. With my starter gun. Which, I mean, it's pretty OP. But, you know. <clears throat> the damage. The damage. They're toast. Look at those guys. Toast. Look at these guys. Toast. Look at that guy. About to be toast. As soon as I 
finish up with all his buddies. Um, I don't like this. I'm just gonna, yeah, carefully dodge roll across the platform. There's so much that I could see going wrong with that. Like, I just had to take it carefully. Because I'm at full health. I, I don't know. I don't think I have enough money to... Well, I probably have enough money to, where I could have gotten health from the shop. But I'm not sure if he has health for sale. That's the thing. So I just wanted to be careful. But I could totally see myself dodge rolling off of that platform trying to get past the the bullet fountains. Um, yeah, no. No thanks. I don't want to be stuck in that corner with you guys. Get a little too excited. Start exploding every damn where. Shit. Alright. I made that jammed dude a hot dude. Set him on fire. Okay. Loving this. Got two blanks, just in case I need them. Would like to save those for the boss. So, um... <clears throat> I haven't really seen any new bosses. And that's something that I really thought was going to be kind of more prominent. Now, I do know there is a new boss for... the <clears throat> little secret area. Oh, it's on the, the third floor, right? Not this one. Um, I'm gonna... Ah... I kind of want to stick with the, whatever the hell this gun is, a rectangle, rectangler, tangler, that's just what it's called. <laughs> it does do a bunch of damage, um, I'm just going to blank that too. Uh, nope, I would like to switch to my sword so I could get the defensive slashes going now that I'm out of blanks. There we go. Whew! Just took the easy way out, slashing the... those thick waves of bullets. Um, just timing it out real well. Yeah, let's save these for later. Maybe we can figure that out a little more. Um, and it looks like this is the bum bullets. Bum bullets. We unlocked this a uh, couple runs ago. Or, well, we just bought it from the shop in the breach, basically. So, B bullets. That's kind of what I thought they were going to be. Because bumble, bumblebee bullets. Um, some of these bullets contain bees. These shells <laughs> contain tiny beehives. Guns and bees provide a textbook example of the concept of symbiosis. Look it up. Okay. So we've got a couple of bee items now. we got the bee, uh, I'm sorry, the bum bullets. We've got the beehive and the stinger. I'm basically a walking bum bullet myself. I am a jammed bum bullet. Um, I'm gonna stick with, I'm sorry, I definitely switched the wrong gun there. I don't want to walk around just with my stinger hanging out. I want to blast me hanging out. <clears throat> Wave that big old sword around in the air. Go, ah, at enemies. Like, look at it. Cheats out laser beams. I hate this room. <laughs> at least the, like, at the very least, the hammers aren't following me around. Uh, so that's, that is a positive for sure. <laughs> but just the, the noise it makes, coupled with the random shots flying in from nowhere. Ah, that sucked. At least, um, at the very least, I had armor. Ooh, there's some stuff. It's all expensive, but here's some stuff. Helix bullets would be kind of cool. Or alpha bullets, really. Alpha bullets would be awesome with Blasphemy and the Stinger. And do I have anything else that's like a one-shot like that? No. But still, Blasphemy and the Stinger would be real good. I'm not seeing a secret room. The hell? What's your deal, Blacksmith? Why no secrets? Um, yeah, the Gun Knight's Helm, I mean, way earlier in the run would be interesting. Ooh, bees. I see bees. That came out of me. I made those bees happen. Yep, I'm a walking, rolling, jammed bum bullet. 
Oh, hey there. That guy's a ghosty. Oh, that was nonsense. How, I must have just picked up armor? Am I crazy? I feel like I should not be at full health. As many times as I've taken damage, I, I really feel like I'm supposed to be, uh, you know, at least slightly down. And we don't have any hearts just laying about on the floor. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, fuck all of that. Shooting out jammed spider webs. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. No. I put my foot down. I say no. Absolutely not. You put it away, sir. You take that shit back home and you put it away. Your jammed spider webs and on fire and shit. No. No. That's not what we're doing today. I don't want to be standing in front of these guys. Because they shoot out really fast bullets that are tightly packed together. Alright. Reload the stinger again. This is going real smooth. Oh my goodness, I have eight hearts. That is, um... Largely unusual. I do not usually have this many heart containers throughout a run. I mean, there are times... It's definitely happened before. It's not like, oh my god, this is my first time ever with more than four hearts, but... Sometimes it feels like it. Where I'm like, oh my god, I can never get a master round. Because <laughs> I'm bad at this game, and I should feel bad for it. Got two keys, 99 money. First chance for a key is uh, not bad. I mean, it's kind of pointless considering we have the Stinger, and the Stinger is just a way better version of the RPG. But whatever, I'll still take it. Uh, watch, the next thing we're going to get is the. Um, oh, what's it called? It's the Beehive. Oh, I, I thought I already had the Beehive. I have the Honeycomb. That's what my item is, right? Down here? Honeycomb? Yeah, okay. Beehive is the gun that shoots out bees. Like a bunch of bees. Oh my god, why is that dude shooting so fast? Like his rate of fire was just on point. There we go. Hunt him down, my pretties. Alright. Um, I might have enough money for alpha bullets by the end of this. It's gonna be close. I'm not sure how many more rooms there are. Uh, I should still have one item room? I'm just gonna blank. I don't know why I wanted that key so badly, but I did. Oh, hi there. Alright, so there's the boss, which is... very odd. What? How does that even make sense? This is not the dragon. What? What are you? Who are you? I was like, the dragon never, like, the boss entrance never looks like that. What is this? Why don't you have a name? Or a health bar? How much health do you have? Okay, not that much, apparently. Ooh, ooh! Okay, okay. Dropping some goodies for me. Um, got the Gungeon map. We got a key. We got a credit. Okay, so there's the secret room with a few goodies in it. Got a free chest. I've got plenty of keys. That's not my problem. All right, let's go. So, um, that was a weird little boss. Pretty easy. Pretty straightforward. Say that. Oh, he took my bees and made them his own bees. That's not fair. Oh my god, when that dude, when you have beehive or um, maybe the the stinger also, um, I'm pretty sure I've done it with beehive, where I tried shooting them at 
those red mages, and they caught the bees and shoot them back. The problem is, the bees are fucking homing, and fast as fuck, so they will just chase you down, super quick. Like, you could try getting them stuck in a wall, good luck. Those bees are assholes when they are not on your side. Oh my god, you have to be so careful with those dudes. Oh, it's such a pain. So, it looks like I might have just very- Oh my goodness, what is that? Okay. I'm not really sure what that was all about, but... Okay. Reload roll off of the, uh... What was that, the 1911? So does that mean... It reloads completely instead of just one. Very cool. Okay. Alright. Let's see what, uh, Squiggles has going on in his shop. Anything I'm interested in? No. Just the, the secret room over here. Take that, which is, uh, is that the SAA? Yeah, it is. Okay. What was it in the shop that I wanted? Alpha bullets? Alpha bullets. And how much is that? 144. Or, I could do 104 for the Helix Bullets. How much is Spice? 144. I think Alpha Bullets, because that's going to give me soup, like just extra power on this, this, and I guess just this. Um, whereas Helix Bullets can make things kind of tricky to shoot. Although, I imagine Helix Bullets with like the Tangler would be sick. Just sick and dirty. I think I'm going to go this way. We're going to get that alpha, which it looks like alpha had a synergy going with it. What did, what was that? What was that on? Oh, it synergizes with, um, with this one, hot lead. So do any of my guns actually have synergies on them? Yes, these two have synergies with each other and with rolling reload and then mutation and monster blood have something going on didn't need to anyway huh I wanna see what's going on with mutation I, I can't tell if that's anything new honestly alright let's go to blasphemy again nice Oh, I suck. Okay, well, I need health. Oh, I really suck. I need a lot of health now. I messed up. I done goofed. I was playing so well. For so long. And I just done goofed. Alright, there's a full heart back in this mini boss fight. I guess I'll call it. Thank goodness for that. Alright, and the rat just stole that ammo that was back here he's gonna leave me a note it says thanks for the ammo jerk say all right whatever so I wonder uh, I know that this infuriating note oh what did I just do oh, okay nothing um, this thing right here the infuriating note it it has to show up like six times for you to get the full secret right and uh, from what I read every player it's just a random combination but then once you have the combination on your game then you know it's all good um so it'll be like the same one every time um but I wonder if the infuriating note will continue to show up after I have all six pieces of the combination figured out so I uh, will just kind of have to see. There's at least two more runs for that to happen. Just getting up close, trying to get some easy sword slashes while he's vulnerable there. Oh, that was dumb. Alright, let me switch to Stinger then. Oh, shit. It's okay. There's still some health back on the, you know, just left over. Um, earlier on the floor. Leftover from earlier, I should say. Okay, nice. Uh, what do I want to take out this last phase with? 
Tangler, probably. Or maybe Mutation. Mutation is, like, pretty good at dealing damage. Especially when you just need to shoot at one spot. But so is Tangler. To be real fair, Tangler, uh... Tangler bullets just deal a lot of damage. Plus, look at that. It makes him look all fucked up and crazy looking. That's awesome. It's real weird looking, but... I like the orange. It's just like... Pulsating through his wing beats. Oh, that was just a real bad dodge. Just real embarrassing on that one. Blam, 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 he's done. So the... The infuriating note leads you to a place. And there's... I'm real excited to get there. Because I kind of read some spoilery stuff. Um... I looked ahead when I maybe I shouldn't have or didn't have to. I, it's all stuff I could have figured out by myself, really. Um, eventually, probably. The the thing that I really just was so curious about was like, what the hell does this item do? It just says like, you know, is it a joke item? Is it, you know, just like a worthless piece of paper that they're like, ha ha ha, we wasted your time for a second? Or, you know... I, I just wasn't sure what the purpose of it was. I am gonna do bullet hell today. Why not? We're doing we're doing so well. Oh, you know what I can do is I can kind of cheat if I'm missing just one heart. I can just drop a master round if I have to, and we can go pick it up if we get health dropped on the floor. Um, yeah, let's do that. I've got a couple master rounds. We'll just drop that right there. And now I'm back up to full health. Cool. It's a little trick that I always forget to do because I never have any master rounds on the bullet. <laughs> I don't know why. He's like the safest character. You should be flawlessing, you know, every boss with him. Uh, but sometimes I, I just suck. Oh, God. Almost got hit there, too. But, yeah, basically you can drop a master round. The rat will not steal it. So you don't have to worry about that. And then uh, you can just play through the rest of the floor, and if you get health drops, you can go back, pick up your master round, and have that extra bit of HP. Just helps keep you a little bit safer. Keeps all your tools at your disposal. Uh, this looks like it probably loops back around the wrong way. Yeah. Okay. I, I wanted to continue down this path just in case there was another route. Like, it probably does loop around, and if I had gone the other path of the loop, it would have been shorter. Probably. Okay. Uh, yeah, it would have been a room shorter if I had just gone this way. Per usual, I'm not gonna be full clearing out oh god. Um, bullet hell, because that's a fool's mission. No thanks. Not today. Maybe if I had the Gungeon Blueprint or Cartographer's Ring and I had the whole floor mapped out and I could see, like, how bad it would be to full clear. Maybe. Maybe. But in general, it's, like, never worth it to full clear this floor. <laughs> Unless you've really just got something to prove. Or if you're interested in doing the slowest run of this game ever. Because holy crap, this floor is just huge and sprawling, and sometimes you just get sent down the wrong paths. Like, let me try this way. Nope, that's definitely not it. Let me try this way. Nope, that's definitely not it. And you'll go like three or four rooms before you realize it's starting to loop back around, or before it just dead ends out of nowhere. Like this, this huge branching path, you know. Just three, three ways that have several rooms off of them, guaranteed. Okay. Did I kill the shadow dude? Well, now I did. That little shadow cat is so cool. Ooh, more spice. What's up? Maybe I should have saved that for when I took damage. I could have popped that to get rid of a heart container. 
that would probably have been a better idea. Um, also, I think I'm probably getting close to where I need to stop taking Spice. Because I did take Curse Bullets from Cursula, so that's going to increase my shit by quite a few points. Quite a few levels of Curse going on there. Now, the, the benefit to that is, you know, more curse, more damage from curse bullets, so, like, I'm all about it. I just don't want to overdo it, because Lord of the Jammed is not my dude. He is not the guy I want to hang out with. He's kind of a creep, follows you around. You can try to shake him, but he will always hunt you down. He's the Lord of the Jammed. Okay, okay. Uh, I thought my sword slashes were a little bit out of time there, so I'm glad that I was wrong about that. I was able to recover. Swat all those bullets away before any damage came to me. Uh, I will take this and do what I thought about the last time, which as soon as I took it, where I was like, um, I should hold on to this and use it like a master round, basically. If I take damage, I can pop it, like, say I take damage in the Lich fight, um, I can pop it to get rid of that, uh, now empty heart container. Shit, I would rather, um, just find health on the floor, though, really. Really, 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 though. That's my container right um what guns do I have that I could use instead of blasphemy um actually I think I'd rather do the SAA than the 1911 whoa hey that's some bullshit no 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 that's not allowed friend just shooting fireballs at me the second I come into the room what if I was scratching my nose huh that would have been real bad for me um I need to get the fuck out of this room before I start looking at the map, that's for sure. Okay, so we need to go back this way. I hope it's one of these rooms and somehow not, like, this path. Because that will be embarrassing. Probably could have avoided some damage if, if it was that other path. Okay, these guys are not shooting at me. Very many thanks. I feel like the minimap keeps slipping behind objects in the rooms. It seems kind of weird. Okay, he's down. These guys dead. Oh, I got one dead. Other one's dead. Just got a spinny boy up here. Oh, there's going to be another wave of enemies. I know this room. Yep. Okay, so far, easy enough. That guy's dead to the roller. And that guy died to a bullet bat, I think. Okay, shit. It's not that way. It's gotta be this way then. I really, really hope. Oh, I need to kill. Yeah, summoner. Gotta kill that dude. Okay, this is getting nuts. Half, like half the enemies are jammed. The other half are crazy bullet hell enemies. So you know they're not easy to to deal with. Ah, uh, he's got. A fire tail. Okay, 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 okay. At least these little dudes with the pitchforks aren't too bad. Their bullets don't waver a whole, whole lot. Alright, so here's what's about to happen. Pop that spice. Hope and pray I don't have Lord of the Jammed following me around now and then just last as long as I can like this. Once I get hit again, once I take two hits again, I'm gonna try to drop my other master round and hope that... Oh, yeah, there he is. God damn it. Okay, so maybe I should have just done that the first time. Okay, so I got two hits down. Um, shit. Shit. <laughs> This is so bad. 
Uh, I forget that I have blanks sometimes. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna pick that back up just because. I don't know why, but just kind of because. Um, hello please, he's chasing me. <laughs> Give me control of my character back. I beg of you. <laughs> you know, on the bright side, at least Lord of the Jammed doesn't shoot out cursed, or, uh, jammed bullets. So there's that to look forward to. Damn it, I knew as soon as I took that, I was like, that was a mistake. That was too many. Too many spice. It's funny how it'll ruin your run right at the very end if you allow it to. Oh, spice. You cheeky devil. If there is a better way to deal with that room, or that, like, attack of bullets that comes from both sides, I don't know a better way to do it. Um... I, I don't know. Anyways, that's it for this run. I had a really good time playing that. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it. I didn't, you know, I came so, so close to the end, um, but I'm not even mad that that I was able to, or that I wasn't able to kill the Lich. Uh, so yeah, that's it. If you liked it, go ahead, click that thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below, or on Twitter at Big Bad Bar Media what you're thinking. Be sure to subscribe, turn on those notifications so you get the heads up whenever I post new videos, and then just come on back, check out another video, and have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.